if it worked for my melanated skin. No What's up Stitch Yang? Welcome, welcome back to another video with the Stitch Live. So today I wanted to come on cam and test out Inky List's newest item. This is their polyglutamic acid with SPF 30. They decided to up the OG polyglutamic acid and give us one with sun protection. So this is her right here. I wanted to just come on here really quickly, demo the product with you guys, let you guys know how I felt about the product and let you know if it's safe for melanated skin. So if you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned. Before we start today's video, if you enjoy make sure you leave your a thumbs up at the end or you can go ahead and do it right now so you don't forget also subscribe to join the stitch gang down below by clicking that subscribe button and be sure to also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at the stitch life and with that being said let's go ahead and get right in to it rubs hands like Birdman so of course really quickly I have to just give you all some details about inky List's newest item they did send this over to me with no obligation to post I'm just here filming this video for you guys because I truly want y'all to see how it works for me like it's my first time ever Ever trying the product out I have tried the polyglutamic acid in the past but this one is new this one has SPF 30 so this is the OG polyglutamic acid serum this right here and you guys can see it comes in this cylinder pump pump bottle on the package it says this helps to lock in moisture it says to use it as your last serum and it says you can also mix it into your foundation to help blend better and for an additional boost of hydration. It's on cleansed skin, apply a pea-sized amount to face and neck as your last step before makeup. Follow with moisturizer if desired. So again, this is the OG Polyglutamic Acid Serum. This retails for $14.99. Now we have the newest Polyglutamic Acid coming from Inky List. This one has SPF 30. So the only thing that should be different about this and this first polyglutamic acid serum is the fact that this provides you with sun protection so I actually love the fact that they decided to you know give us a new one with, with SPF because I personally love the OG the polyglutamic acid this is probably my third bottle I purchased it in the past they've also sent it to me in the past and I love it I have one in my stash right now that's how you know so let's go ahead and get into the newest polyglutamic acid dewy sunscreen with SPF 30. This one claims to hydrate, hydrate, prime, and protect the skin. You use it as your last step as your SPF and it says shake before use, use AM on cleansed skin, apply liberally to face and neck, and apply after moisturizer and 15 minutes before sun exposure. So I'm not gonna even lie to you guys, I was at work today, I came home, washed my face. I did go ahead and apply another inky list item. I actually went in with the Omega water cream from Inky List. This is one of my fave moisturizers. So I did go in with this after washing my face, but there's nothing else on my face. So we're basically ready for SPF. Granted, I normally do use serums and stuff like that, but listen, for the purpose of today's video, I just want to keep it simple, okay? So a little extra inky info, it says polyglutamic acid dewy sunscreen SPF 30 is a broad spectrum sunscreen providing UVA and UVB protection. The 8% of the hydration trio of the polyglutamic acid, glycerin and squalene gives skin a smooth and dewy finish. It also says you can apply under makeup for dewy skin primed for better makeup application. So FYI, I will not be applying it with makeup today, but you can go in with this as your primer. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to crack her open. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply. Okay. Let's do the three finger rule. I'm giving it a whiff. Doesn't smell super sunscreeny or anything, which I love because I hate when like <laughs> the sunscreen scent is just too strong, especially if it's on my face. I feel like I'm gonna smell it all day. It's also not super runny either. So let's just go ahead and apply it. So let's see. I'm not nervous, but I'm nervous because you just never know with sunscreen, with sunscreen, with SPF products. Let's go ahead and blend her out. I feel like I sm smell the sunscreen a little bit more, but still nothing super strong. I will say this feels really good on the skin. Really good. Nice and, I'm not gonna say thick, but it's not runny. And it does automatically provide me with a glow. Okay. So far, no cast, let's continue.
Okay, Yankee. All right. First things first, I see a glow. I definitely see the glow. Also, I don't see a cast. Do you see that glow? Okay, glow. I don't remember the OG polyglutamic acid giving me this glow. So I'm 100% here for this glow. Now I'm like, I need to apply makeup one day this week with this product to see like what it really gives. Like if I still get that glow from within. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Still, I don't smell the sunscreen like that. My skin feels moisturized. Hmm. Okay. For $14.99, I'm not mad at that. I don't know if I mentioned, but this product, the Polyglutamic Acid Dewy Sunscreen Serum with SPF 30 is also marked at $14, and so is the original Polyglutamic Acid Serum. So both are the same price. The only difference is one provides you with the glow, the SPF provides you with the glow, and the SPF has SPF, obviously. The other difference is that packages are different. So I think they probably did that so people don't get confused in store when picking up one of the two, because the Polyglutamic Acid Serum comes in a pump bottle while the SPF if the sunscreen comes in a tube container so they probably did that just for marketing purposes but the glow has to be spoken about like I feel like the glow truly has to be spoken about get into it giving a glow while protecting us from the glow outside so you see what you see what they did there I appreciate that and we're definitely trying to work on our dark spots for the summertime summer is loading and I will be outside and of course I need to be SPF up I could definitely see myself using this in the summer months now I would consider myself combination dry I would consider my skin combination dry so I'm interested to see how this will work for someone that's a little bit more oily being that it does give you that dewy finish but overall I like her it didn't take me a while to blend out the sunscreen and sometimes that could be the number one problem with sunscreen especially on the face like I don't have time to blend sunscreens out so I'm happy that this blended out with ease and I'm really appreciating the glow that it's providing us with SPF 30 I wish it was a, just a little bit just a, just a little bit higher but I'll take the 30 30 is better than nothing 30 is definitely better than nothing make sure you guys are wearing your sunscreen on a daily basis okay so overall I recommend it provides you with the hydration it provides you with the dew and also provides you with the protection from the skin from the skin from the sun and it is formulated again with squalene and so you know your body produces it but if you need a little extra if you need a little bit more inky list gotcha okay and I think for the price point that's not bad you do get 1.7 fluid ounces of this product especially coming from a Sephora brand and inky list is also a clean and vegan brand at Sephora and they are also a cruelty free brand so definitely check them out again this video was not sponsored in no way shape or form they did send this over to me no obligation to post I just wanted to come on here and test it out to let y'all know if I'll be using it or not if it worked for my melanated skin and it did y'all saw it on camera that it passed the test so comment down below right now and let me know if you guys picked up the newest inky list polyglutamic acid sunscreen let me know if you guys plan to pick it up after watching my video today comment down below and let me know if you guys were looking for a sunscreen again if you're a dry gal if you're a combination gal and you're looking for a sunscreen this is one that I would definitely recommend this is definitely going to be in rotation for me I like the fact that you can also use it as a primer you guys know I love a two-in-one so again I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video if you did go ahead and drop a thumbs up down below if there's anything that I missed feel free to drop it down below and I will respond to you in the comments make sure you guys also subscribe down below and join this stush gang become a stush gal and also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok on the clock app at the stush life as well and until the next one I'll see you guys all later bye guys